As children, we're all motivated to find the truth. A child looks around and is learning truths all the time. We have this natural tendency to explore. I'm Gerald Pollack, and I'm a professor of bioengineering at the University of Washington in Seattle. It, it can be really challenging to, uh, to keep an open mind in these days. Scientists have become more hesitant to challenge perceived truth. Uh, how are you doing, Lee? So it's working? Uh, yeah. There are some books that suggest that essentially we've kind of reached the limit of what there is to know. I'm shocked by this, this uh, perception. There are many aspects of water that we see every day, and we don't really understand them. These are questions that need answers. We all learn that water has three phases, solid state, liquid state, and also the vapor state. However, you can't explain all the known properties of water with three phases alone. You need a fourth phase. What's the fourth phase? With an energetic input, water molecules undergo massive change. They become ordered, they acquire charge, all of this energy to create the order comes from light. We began with experiments to try to learn more. We noticed something that seemed almost magical. Every one of the tests that we did showed that this water was different from ordinary water. The individual molecules were actually linked together to form a hexagon, and then many hexagons. We can understand why snowflakes are hexagonal. They actually form from the fourth phase of water. After some time, there seemed to be enough evidence to indicate that this was a distinctly different phase of water. Not everything is as it appears to be. We somehow need to change the system so that we're looking for ideas whose outcome has the capacity to really shake the earth and create breakthroughs, if not revolutions. You need to dig deeper and deeper in order to find the truth.